a little girl. <sighs> hey, hey guys, Thomas here, and welcome to another episode of Watch or Not. <sighs> and today we're gonna be watching Notting Saga of Tanya the Evil. So, what is it? Well, <laughs> tell me if you heard this somewhere before. We have a war going on with little girls flying in the sky and using magic powers. Yeah, that premise doesn't sound that good anymore, does it now? But not to worry, this isn't where it all stops. This is our main character here. She is named Tanya, as for the title. And she is a superior witch, I mean mage. Now they handle this magical premise this time around with a bit more, um, how do you say? Logic. It talks about war, and we are seeing war. There are people dying everywhere, camps set up, trenches being blown up, normal soldiers. This is a real war, with a special addition of having uh, magical people flying around, of course. <laughs> they don't lollygag around, there's no sledding, no getting to know each other, no fucking eating magic mushrooms. This is about war and victory, and having to fulfill your orders. Because if you don't... <laughs> well, uh, uh, watch the first episode. It's not even solely focusing on the front lines and the magical parts. They show us what happens behind the scenes. They show us what's going on in the world. Why they need those people. What they are planning to do with them. How they are using them. What's, what's actually going on. It makes us invest into the anime. And how to say this, but Tanya is a bit too OP. Like, she takes down a whole platoon on her own. Without any backup. This is... This is insane. Now, I don't know how this is going to play out since giving her this much power might be a bit too much, but uh, maybe they can handle themselves in the future. But the battle at the end is like a full-on adrenaline shot. Fuck, she is strong. Like, she can create a mini nuclear bomb, pretty much. How are you gonna compete with that? Now, on the animation part, it is good, I guess, but I'm not that big of a fan of the characters since they have pretty big eyes and... Uh, their eyebrows, especially the female character's eyebrows, are completely fucked up. What is this shit? Is this eyeshadow? Is this just shadows? It's like their eyes are wearing a fur coat around themselves. But aside from that, I have no quarrel with the animation. So the plot moves along nicely, we get invested in the characters, the animation is pretty good, and overall I want to see more, so this gets a watch from me. Whew! That's a head flying there now. <laughs> this is kind of morbid. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel and bye.